I've got this drawing of, of a teeter-totter, and what I need to do is I need to order the caps and the caps that go on to you know, the hardware so we don't want anybody scratching themselves on it. So instead of you know, counting all these caps through here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the count function. Now before we dive into that, if I take a look, I can see that this block here is a type of tall with a color of black. If I look at this one here, I can see this is a type standard and perhaps what we want is we want the color in here to be red. So you can see that I've varied the attribute information across the various you know, cap blocks. Now I'm gonna run a count and my target object is this one. So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna press enter and notice that it, it selects and counts all of the cap blocks. So regardless if the attribute information differs, it just goes out and finds all instances of it. So I can see right here, I've got six of them. And if I needed to, I can you know kind of zoom into each one to take a closer look. Now, right beside it here, what I can see is that I can insert a count field. So what I can do is I can use that to insert the number of you know caps in this drawing. So let's just put the six there and we'll update that. Now perhaps what I need to do is I need to insert a couple more of these blocks. I'm gonna do through the insert command. I could have done it through a copy. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick a spot there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that this is a type of um, narrow and the color is blue. So we'll click okay to that one. And if I just do a regen right now, what we'll see is that notice that the count field has updated. So the count field updated based on inserting a, or introducing another instance of that. Now what happens if I was to delete this one, if I do a regen or a save, what we'll see is that updates. So perhaps what I'll do is I'll edit this, this field because it's just text. And what I'll say is I'll say caps times six, and we'll close that. So now I've got this text that updates as the number of instances change. Now alternatively with the count command, what you're also able to do is just list all the blocks. So we can see in that this drawing, what we have is we have a beam. We've got those caps, which we talked about. Notice it's got the little symbol to, to signify that it does have attributes. And then we've got the spring. So a beam, a cap and a spring, and we can see the counts. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to insert a table with this information. The ones I want is obviously all of them in this instance. I'm gonna click insert, scales a little bit off, but what I was able to do is insert that table. So what we'll do is we'll just scale this up just a little bit so we can see it. Okay, so you can see that it, it has identified the block name, so the types, and then their count. Now this is all style-based, so I could just apply my table style for the fonts and, and size like that. But you can see how I can get that information, and then it will update as you, you know, insert um, or you know, include more instances. So in this case, what I've decided to do is I want these caps, I want these caps on all the fasteners here across this beam. We'll zoom into our table and we'll do a regen or a save. And what we'll see is that that information updates. So you can see that the count is not you know, perfect for doing bill of materials because that cap actually has some variation to it. And so there's some you know, different types based on the attributes. But for a quick way to count the blocks in your drawing with a bit of description based on, on its name, you can use that count to quickly get that information. And then I could pass this off to, to purchasing and say, here, here's the items that you need to, to buy. So that's how you can use the count to build this kind of quasi parts list for the for the blocks or the parts that are in your AutoCAD drawings.